when it's this hot outside, it's fun to take your furry friends to cool off in the pond or a river, but a dip in the water turned deadly for several dogs in Georgia and North Carolina this summer. The suspected cause, blue-green algae blooms in the water. In our 13 WMAZ poll, we want to know where you are least likely to swim. You can vote on our app or online at 13WMAZ.com slash vote. According to veterinarian Bernard Hodges, blue-green algae is a bacteria that usually pops up when there's a lot of heat and nutrients in the water. Now, he says it's not always toxic, but if your dog swallows it, it certainly could be deadly. You may start to see your pup experience symptoms like vomiting, seizures, and diarrhea within 30 minutes. Algae samples from lakes and rivers across the state are sent to central Georgia for testing to see if they're dangerous. Sabrina Burst spoke to a specialist at Georgia College to see how they test for algae and toxins. Sabrina joins us now in the studio. Algae specialist and biology professor Kalina Manoilov says algae can bloom anywhere from lakes to reservoirs, but there are some signs that you can keep an eye out for when you hit the water. Georgia College biology professor Kalina Manoilov works with the state and Georgia Power to collect algae from streams and rivers. She looks for what kind of algae is in the sample and what kind of toxin it can produce. Her team tested the cyanobacteria or blue-green algae suspected of killing a dog in Lake Altoona about a week ago. It was definitely toxicity that we reported there, but the algal population was not at the highest level when I got the sample. But it's a timing issue because the death happened on the weekend. I got the sample collected on Monday. She says the algae typically thrives in high temperatures, high light, and still water that has increased nutrients from fertilizers and surrounding yards. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, the algae will look like scum or a green mat on top of the water. Despite the name, the algae can be blue, green, brown, or red. But there's not a way to tell if the algae is toxic unless it's tested. Basically we run the strips and we want to make sure that we're correct so we always run at least double. Tests can take about 30 minutes to an hour depending on the depth of the test. After several tests she takes the average of the results. Manoilov says there are four different types of algal toxins that can affect things like nervous tissue, liver and skin. If you can see green tint, if you can see scum on the surface of the water, avoid animals children and you going into the water. Lov says all bodies of water can have algae blooms, but says you'll typically find the toxic producing algae in shallow ponds and coves rather than deeper lakes and rivers. Back to you. Thank you, Sabrina. Manoy Love says the toxins can affect people and animals depending on their size and exposure. People usually have flu-like symptoms. And in our poll, it looks like most of you prefer to uh, avoid the public pool as far as when it comes to swimming.